And then the third one, the brother mentioned, la, you don't. And then the third one, oh, every day you recite 17 times throughout the day. What do you recite? You say, and not those people who earned your anger, nor those people who were led astray. 17 times in the day you say this. And any person to whom the message of Islam was conveyed, and then he did not accept the message of Islam, then that person is a Kafir. Regardless of whether that person was a Jew or a Christian or other than that. And when a person says, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah, I bear witness there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah, you are saying that I reject and I negate and I deny or disbelieve in everything else which is worshipped besides Allah. And I affirm my worship for Allah. So you have to reject and, and disbelieve and negate the worship of all of the other false deities. And then you say, وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولًا I bear witness that Muhammad وسلم, is the worship of Allah and his final messenger. And therefore, if anybody comes along and the message of Islam was conveyed to them after the Prophet was sent to the people and they do not accept the Prophet as being the messenger of Allah, then they are outside the fold of Islam. Regardless of who that person is, Yahudi, Jew, Christian, fire or worship or anybody else. And Allah subhanahu mentions in the Quran and he addresses the Yahud and the Nasara. He said, Ya Ahl al Kitab, O people of the scriptures, meaning Al Yahud wal Nasara. And addressing them, he says, the meaning of which is, Why do you disbelieve? And so, who made the ruling of disbelief and kufr upon the Yahud and the Nasara? It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, I swear by the one in whose hand is my soul that nobody hears of me, be it a Jew or a Christian, except that he has to believe in me. However, does this mean and necessitate that we have to now go kill them? So does this mean now that we have to kill them? No, by Allah. Does this mean that we have to, we don't fulfill our trust and our contracts? No, we have to fulfill our trust and contracts. But does it mean that we have to like, insult them and swear at them? No. And also, does it mean that we laugh at the non-Muslims and we insult the non-Muslims? No. Rather, we have to teach and call and sincerely guide and advise the non-Muslims. <coughs> and we explain to them that that which you are upon, the Prophet Musa السلام, Prophet Isa السلام, they call to its opposite. They call to the worship of Allah alone. And in fact, we have to show the non-Muslims that we have a, com uh, a compassion over them or regarding them. And we say to them that we are fearful and scared for your sake, that you may enter into the fire. And so we have to be sincere in our advice to the Kuffar.